We have some of the most significant photographers represented here over the last 100 years, which is pretty amazing in our little town, the picturesque little town in Oxford, Ohio. But the images in this exhibit very much represent the evolution of photography, both as a social statement and as an art form. The title of this exhibition is Chasing Light. I came up with an idea a few years ago of looking at black and white photographs in the collection. A lot of our black and white photography, light is much more demonstrative. So I invited four photographers here at the university to collaborate with us, helping to make the selections. The guideline was light. How does light work? All of us have our unique aspects portraits, commercial work, an educator, and Scott's a photojournalist. It was quite the experience to see everybody's take on what we thought Chasing Light was. The variety of photographers that are available in the collection of Miami University is, I think, pretty amazing. Images from the early 30s all the way through just a few years ago by some of the most famous photographers ever. It's amazing to actually see uh, an Alfred Eisenstadt, you know, in person versus like in a book or online. This Olivia Parker photograph here that's beautiful. You know, it's um, moon snails. It's a wonderful photograph. I'm a big fan of Stephen Shapiro, and we have several of his images, and they were taken during the turmoil that was going on in the 60s. Bernice Abbott. Uh, she's one of my favorite photographers. Some by Al Ghazi. We have Ansel Adams, Donna Ferrato, The Kiss. The lighting in that it almost looks theatrical. You have this spotlight, you know, street light in the back, rim lighting them, and then you have the light in the front. There, it's a couple getting ready to embrace in a kiss. There's a great little gravure by Paul Strand, which is just you just have to see it in person. It's wonderful. It's a really beautiful image, and to see it in person, it just really grabs your attention. I've been here 27 years, but I was educated about the collection of photographs that we have at Miami University. Some of the top photographers around the world, we're really blessed to have this kind of collection at this art museum. I'm really excited about this exhibit. I mean, when you look at it and you see all these nuances of what's taking place. The images are just amazing. 